Hello, my name is Troy Roach, and I'm a citizen scientist researching low-dose nicotine patches. Now, in this third part, I'm going to be talking about the cholinergic dysfunction and why low-dose nicotine is so beneficial for so many people who have long COVID, ME-CFS, and any other disease that could be caused by toxins or anything that is making the cholinergic system fail. Now, throughout our body, almost every cell in our body has nicotinic receptors. Now, these nicotinic receptors are part of our parasympathetic nervous system. This is the part of our nervous system that helps us rest and digest and procreate as well. This cholinergic system can be affected by a lack of choline, it can be affected by viruses and viral debris that have been attached to it. It could be affected by uh, even snake venoms. When somebody's bitten by a snake, then that venom can affect the cholinergic system and hurts and even kill people. There are also other toxins, for example, things that people use as weed killers, which can also affect the cholinergic system. So why would we use nicotine? Well, we use nicotine because it binds so well to the nicotinic receptors that the nicotinic receptors got their name from nicotine. All right, so nicotine binds to these receptors and helps to kick out anything that's been blocking those receptors or that has damaged them. It helps the body make more nicotinic receptors and that helps the whole cholinergic system start working again, then the body can now balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic in a more holistic and natural way. Unfortunately, some savvy characters out there have said that if you use a nicotine patch, it will keep you from getting infections like COVID. Unfortunately, as we've seen in our research, that is not true. Nicotine does appear to help protect the brain against infections, but it doesn't stop infections. I'll get more in depth in that in the next video. So until that next video, take care of yourself and if you can, take care of somebody else too.